The Missouri Department of Transportation and the Missouri State Highway Patrol talked about their game plans today ahead of the extreme weather predicted. ABC 17's Ethan Hines went to the meeting in Jefferson City today and learned about what you could do to stay safe on the roads. Ethan, you're in the Storm Tracker 360 right now. That's right, Lucas. I'm out in the Storm Tracker right now here in Columbia. If you take a quick look around, I'm actually at Hickman High School and as of right now, we have a little bit of clouds. It's getting a little dark. Obviously, you know, it's starting to become nighttime, but we are currently just waiting for the storm to come in. But regards to that meeting today that was held in Jefferson City, representatives from MoDOT as well as Missouri State Highway Patrol met to discuss safety precautions that motorists could take while they're on the roads. With the prediction of high winds, snow, and cold temperatures, officials from MoDOT as well as MSHP are urging people to stay off roads unless it's absolutely necessary. Just because you're a good driver doesn't mean everybody else is a good driver, so we encourage you to not drive if you can. If you must leave to drive somewhere, it's important to pack supplies in the event you are stranded in your car. So make sure you have plenty of gas in your, in your vehicle, uh, but also make sure you've got some additional clothing, some blankets, some water, some snacks, uh, so that Again, you can you can help uh, if you're out there for a period of time. According to HOTS, if you find yourself off the road, remain in your car with your seatbelt on to avoid further injury and call 911 to report your accident. MoDOT crews are starting at 10 p.m. tonight and will not stop until everything is cleaned up. They are prioritizing heavily traveled roads first. We're going to be more focused on I-70 and I-44, U.S. routes 54, 63, and 50, those type of roads. And then we will be working it down to our lower volume roads. You know, examples of the lower volume roads would be our letter droughts that we have throughout the state. According to Schaefer, MoDOT will be getting around to all the roads, but with heavy winds creating snow drifts, progress will be slow. So it's entirely possible we could plow a road and the wind is such that it blows snow in right behind the snow plow and it may look like we've not been there even though we have been. Now, according to Schaefer, the chemical that is used to treat roads loses its effectiveness due to the extremely cold heat. So it is important to drive slow and give these huge snow plows a lot of space when they're driving because even though you might be able to see them, they may not be able to see you. Reporting from the Storm Tracker here in Columbia, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. Ethan, thank you. If traveling during the storm, visit MoDOT's traveler information map to get those updated road conditions throughout the storm. That can be found at MoDOT.org. And if you have to drive in the next few days, then you'll want to make sure your car is prepared ahead of time. We want to help you know how to take preventative measures, like making sure your windshield wipers don't freeze, taking care of any car maintenance you might need, or anything else. Here's some tips that we have from Allstate. First, you'll want to make sure your car has had a recent tune-up, checking the fluid levels in your car to make sure nothing's low, and Make sure your battery has a good charge ahead of time. If you can, have your tires checked and make sure they still have a good tread. Make sure you have some kind of emergency kit in your car in case you do get stranded. Another helpful tip from Allstate, spray a little cooking oil on the rubber seal of your car doors to prevent them from freezing. You can wipe off any excess with a paper towel. 